Morning, happy Sunday. It's, uh, what time is it? Quarter past nine. Been up since about half past four, as usual. Um, but, got a southerly wind blowing and the sun is coming out big style. I think it's going to uh, get extremely warm again today, which will be nice. Can't beat a bit of sunshine. Got another busy day today. Tired from yesterday after uh, all the tree work. Um, so going up to shoot this afternoon, picking my pal Steve up. Uh, and some pheasants are coming, so we're going to put some pheasants out into it, release pens. And this morning, I'm going to try the Peterson 965, which came yesterday. So, thought I'd do a bit of a first impressions, not a review. Not qualified to do reviews yet, I don't think. But I've watched quite a lot of this on people's channels, and it sounds as though it's potentially my one of my perfect mixers. Now I was toying with doing my own blend because so I've seen people doing their own blends and I'm still going to do it and it was like right I like Latakia and I like a really good strong nicotine hit and then just that I'm not I do I do like an aromatic as long as it's a high quality one I mean the Eileen's Dream lovely that, uh, yesterday I think I ended up doing about four bowls of that yesterday so I'm definitely going to have to get some more of that in um, and then the Rich Dark Honeydew, which, I have, yeah, that, that's my go-to as well. I love that. Um, but other than that, aromatic-wise, I got that... When I first started, I did the usual thing, got the Kendall Cherry and Kendall Vanilla, and not my cup of tea, that. Um, but I have had a look at that. Like it's Cult Blood Red Moon, so... I am going to be ordering some stuff from the US, so I think I'm going to chuck a tin of that in. But other than that, it's the, it's the Latakias and the strong Englishes that I love, the flakes and the plugs. I mean, Reba plug, I had a bowl last night. Oh, it just smokes so slowly and beautiful flavours. Uh, Coniston cut plug, and the Balkan flakes, all those types of things that I just really enjoy. But they're to be savoured on a night time when you're relaxing because the smoke long and cool and slow. But daytime stuff, I definitely, I do like an aromatic in the daytime as, as long as it's a good high quality one. So that, that's my plan this morning. I wasn't planning on doing a video, but then I thought, well now, if I'm opening in my tin, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a video. So why not? So... We've got, you probably know all about Pete's and my mixture 965 anyway, but so on the tobacco reviews com. this mixture is for the connoisseurs, full body tobacco, choices, Latakia imparts a rich flavour, a coolness, Macedonia, 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 added for sweetness, brown Cavendish completes this blend, beloved by English mixture aficionados it's obviously made by Dunhill before and then Peterson's do it now over in there uh, and it's produced in Orlik Denmark for the Scandinavian tobacco group so I am looking forward to it I hope it's everything that I want it to be uh, and I'm also looking forward to mixing my own blend at some point probably be autumn time I get round to it maybe we'll do it so, let's get this tin open. Now that made a noise, didn't it? Wow, like that black forest. But I've had really good service from this, from that company who got rid of it and sent it. Got sunshine coming through the window here. Right? Bright, some bright lights coming through. Let's 
so that's very nice in there all fanned out and mm, smells good once you get the latter gear it's not too overpowering latter gear i don't think it'll be like a latter gear bomb type I'm looking forward to this. Moisture's nice. Pretty much ready to go in the bowl, I think, that. Yeah, definitely springing apart nice. Right, so what I'll do, I'll get my bowl filled and I'll be back. I'm back. So we've got the uh, My Mixture 965 and I'm smoking it in my Hilson Mondial Meersham Line bowl that Mrs. Trucking got me, the estate pipe. Nice to chuck it in a meersham lined. Straight, a bit like smoking a cob, I suppose. You know, you get that flavor, you get that flavor straight away. So, do me child like. Say much there, well, that's nice, huh? Lovely touch of lactic here, not overpowering at all. I can kind of review my lactic here, but it's kind of Great day yesterday. Um, woke up this morning, watched the YTPC awards, the Black Cat Pipe and Lady Fire. That was an enjoyable watch. Well done to everybody who took part, nominated. Everyone's part of the YTPC community anyway, aren't they? But lovely to have that week been fantastic i've right right enjoyed it obviously it's my first week my first pipe week it just shows what everyone's about old man things at ytpc theater happy <laughs> stitches oh charlie was a little bit drunk <laughs> very good absolutely brilliant so well done everyone no all those that put all that hard work in behind it, really good. Mm. It was a 965 first bowl. Oh, oh that retro hail. Very nice. A little bit of a tang. Smoky, creamy, sweetness at the end when everything's gone. Sweetness on the tongue and the palate. Chuffed a bit with that. I know people had said, I mean, Paul Gilson did a cracking review. Um, I watched a few others. I've had a few messages. 
uh, kept the granite. He said, "You're gonna enjoy that. You're gonna enjoy that tobacco." I think it's when you it's great when you find the greatest thing about tobacco is into it. You're constantly on that search, and that's why I think that's why you do it as well, isn't it? You're on that search for the perfect, beautiful pipe or whatever takes your fancy, what you love. Everyone likes different things, don't? They? And you're always on that search for that next tobacco. It's that. It's the pad and the tad. We've all got it. It's good, isn't it? It's like, yeah. We've all got it. Mm. <laughs> yeah, absolutely lovely, that. So I've got... There's another one. I think it's the Fiefen store in Germany. And Big Smoke Phil and Dale, Dale Piper uses it. And uh, I think Chris at BJV Pipes, what's that, HU Tobacco. So that got me onto the Fiefen store when they were chatting about that. Um, and I found another tobacco that quite, I quite fancy, the Robert McConnell Latakia Flake. So that's, it says it's quite a good nicotine. High level of nicotine. Touch of Latakia. I'm always going Latakia. I don't know when I get bored with Latakia, but oh, I don't think I would. So. It's another reason I wanted to try this today. I didn't want to leave it sitting for. Because I want to order some stuff from there. They've got this in there. Uh, the Robert McConnell. And there's also a, there's a Peterson's. Aged three years. Uh, topped with whiskey, I think. Cask aged, th cask aged three years. So that took me fancy. So I think I'll, I'll have a trial on that. Hmm. Very good. All right, guys. That was my tin opening. Absolutely beautiful. I'm going to finish this bowl. Have a beautiful, relaxed Sunday. Enjoy your pipes. Enjoy whatever you're doing, whether it be a roast dinner or a bag of chips. And look after that family. Cheers, guys. Take care. See you later.